we started deriving lines at a suboptimal time because we really started when uh, the registry uh, was formed by President Bush. So it was in August uh, 2001 that President Bush announced that uh, the funding for stem cell research, embryonic stem cell research, would be confined to those lines that were established at that time. That meant that we had to work off campus because at that time we had no so-called non-federal space here at the University of California, San Francisco. If you're using other cell lines, for which a lot of people wanted to use other cell lines, you couldn't use the same facilities of NIH funding uh, was supporting. Initially, we were in converted dental offices. They had carpets and drapes and furniture, but they had nothing that resembled a regular cell culture laboratory. So you had actually duplicate laboratories, duplicate offices, duplicate everything. And so the multiplication of uh, infrastructural costs was, was quite substantial. We were working out at this facility. It didn't have the usual types of backup systems that we're used to in our federally funded labs. So over the Christmas holidays, there was a huge Pacific storm and the shopping center where the lab was located lost power for three days. We didn't want to jeopardize the UCSF's federal funding, which would have been removed if we violated the rules. So over the winter holidays, we had to watch while our cells slowly died. And so we lost all the time and effort that we had put into developing the first two lines. It was not you know, a very helpful situation. And, and the scientists were, were really quite demoralized under, under some of those circumstances. It's quite painful to watch investigators who apply for NIH money being limited to studying this small collection of cells that are quite old now when so many new cell lines have been developed that have superior properties. It's been very disruptive. I can't call up my UCSF colleagues and say, hey, I have a sample for you. Will you analyze it for me? Because they can't. Their personnel are supported by NIH dollars, and the equipment has come from the same source. I think Obama lifting the current restrictions on which lines can be studied in a laboratory will be transformative to most investigators. The possibility of studying any established cell line will allow many investigators who would not otherwise participate in stem cell research to really join in on this revolution of human developmental biology. You know, I think this will have a positive effect across the whole of the United States. We'll no longer be confined to those laboratories that do NIH work and those that do work outside NIH. And I think we'll recognize the, the, the very important mark that's been left by Proposition 71 and hopefully will continue long into the future.